And welcome to part three of Mega Man X. We're still going through Flame Mammoth stage, and uh, he's a giant elephant. <laughs> I have nothing to say about that. I apologize. These, uh, I guess they're, you know, successors to the Bazooka Joe, or whatever the fuck their name is. And uh, they have a shield, they shoot a chain, and when the chain comes back, they put their shield back up. Luckily, you can stand where the chain is and not get hurt, but of course, if the ball comes back, jump out of the way. And now we've reached Flame Mammoth himself. So this whole boss fight takes place on a conveyor belt, and uh, it always seems to be moving in his direction. He loves to jump around, and when he does, he hits the ground, creates his big effect, and yeah, it's not very uh, fun. Luckily though, the Tornado Blast takes him out pretty damn easily. Just keep spamming it, and he doesn't really jump that much, so he'll always be on the conveyor belt. And it's not too much of a problem. Flame Mammoth is a pussy. Something I don't get enough of. <laughs> but enough about my problems. This is Fire Wave. Now we can shoot flamethrowers. And uh, it's good for, you know, melee attacks. It's good for close quarters combat, I suppose, but uh, not much else. All right, this is Spark Mandrill. Spark Mandrill is weak against the shotgun ice, so we're actually going back in the order that uh, I started from the get-go. Now, originally, this level is all bright, and it's lit up, and it's all swell and great, and, you know... Unfortunately, I decided to take out Storm Eagle, and because I took out Storm Eagle, the, the level continuously flashes on and off. And I don't care for it. I don't care for it at all. Yeah, I guess I should have taken on Spark Mandrill first, but, uh, you know, I could still manage this level without it. This is one of the times where sometimes the levels aren't good because you beat a certain robot before you beat the other one, you know? Like, you beat Chill Penguin before you fight Flame Mammoth. Oh, good! Ice! Now I don't have to worry about lava. But this one... Oh, we're gonna take away your fucking lights. In what way is Storm Eagle responsible for that? Is Storm Eagle a lighting technician? Is that it? I must have missed that part. <laughs> anyway, this mini-boss is uh, rather powerful, and he can hurt you pretty bad if he runs into you enough. And he's basically just a giant water bubble who loves to hang to the ceiling, and every now and then he'll drop down. Uh, he shoots projectiles, and they're fairly easy to dodge. And he loves to shoot water that you can stick to, and that's not fun. This is pretty much the only reason why I took Storm Eagle first, and not this level last. Because sometimes when I fight this guy, he does bounce into me, and he does kill me pretty badly. So I wanted to have more heart tanks, I wanted to have more preparation before I fought this guy. But, uh, you know. Clearly I didn't need it, since he didn't even hit me this time. <laughs> so that's my advice to you. You can still... I would advise doing Spark Mandrill before Storm Eagle, even though I seem to do otherwise. I don't know why. I wasn't preparing, okay? I didn't plan ahead. <laughs> I'm crying a lot. Oh, well. But yeah, the, the lights flickering on and off really bugged the fuck out of me. Especially since we're coming up to a heart tank that uh, it really helps to see where you are in the ledges. <laughs> Otherwise, it's really freaking annoying to get it. Basically, when I mentioned with the dash, you can also jump off of walls really great. And so this is the only way you're going to reach the heart tank. You have to do a dash jump and manage to climb the wall like that. Luckily, I managed to get it right when the light was on, so you can clearly see what I did. But regardless, you need dash to get it, and you have to be good at dash jumps. Now, originally, I thought dash jumping was like you had to push forward, forward, then jump which is really tedious and really annoying to do, and I would not recommend doing that. Uh, but actually, the dash button is also on the right button, the A button, I believe. I think. I believe it's the A button. I don't remember the Super Nintendo controller that well. <laughs> but, uh... Use A and the jump button at the same time, and you should dash off pretty good. And I've been using that two-button combo for a lot. Not just walls, but it's great for, you know, jumping around, maneuvering. I've been playing Mega Man X4 and Magma Dragoon stage. Oh, dash jumping is a fucking god. A godly weapon in that, ability, in that place. But anywho, 
Here is Spark Mandrill. He's looking against the shotgun ice. You freeze him. He unthaws. He tries to do shit, but then I just keep freezing him. So, uh... I don't think a strategy is really needed here. <laughs> the only thing I'll say is that sometimes when he thaws, he can get a move in, and he might shoot lasers, which will go along the ground, up the wall, and then up the ceiling. So don't stick too close to the wall, because you might get hit. But other than that, Spark Mandrill... <laughs> also a flaming pussy. Yeah! Oh, Mavericks, when will you learn? So now I got Electric Spark. Electric Spark is exactly as it sounds. You shoot electric sparks. Whoa, crazy concept. And uh, it's effective against a new... It's really effective against this Maverick we're taking on next. And he is Armored Armadillo. Armored Armadillo stage is the best stage for gathering up energy for your sub-tanks. Because like I said before, you need a full health bar in order to collect energy for your sub-tanks. And this place is easy not to get hit, and there's so many enemies in this place that are one-shot one shot kills. One-shit kills, whatever. <laughs> uh, but they're one-shot kills, and they're great for collecting uh, health here. So if you ever need to fill up your sub-tanks, Armored Armadillo stage is the way to be. Not to mention you'll be playing this game, this stage a lot if you want to get the super secret special ability, which uh, I'm not going to show yet, but we'll get there when we get there. All I'll say is it involves a guy in a weird suit. This place is filled with met tools and bats, and the bats are all one shot. Met tools, of course, like they were in the classic series, they only pop up when their helmet's up. Or <laughs> They only pop up every now and then, and you can shoot them in the face, and that's about it. The flamethrower is great for taking out those drilling enemies, and the reason I took out the drilling enemies is because they love to, like, make cave-ins and destroy walls that you can climb up. And if we're going to get a certain sub-tank, well, not a sub-tank, but a heart tank, we got to kill the next one really quickly. And the flamethrower is awesome at killing them quickly, so, you know. That's why I'm killing these things with the flamethrower. Other than that, though, the stage is pretty basic. It's just a giant mine. Uh, spikes still kill Mega Man X like they did the classic Mega Man, so uh, they're one-hit kills. <laughs> be, be weary of that. Never touch spikes. Spikes are evil. You'd think Dr. Light would have, like, upgraded that part. Let's see, I built an energy equalizer. He's much more faster, much more stronger, and he can feel and think like a human being. Spikes? Oh, fuck it. <laughs> what, what are the odd chance you'll run into spikes again? Oh, wait. Yeah. But there's our head tank. If you didn't destroy the driller, he'll cave the walls in, and that's how you get up. So, yeah. Don't worry too much about riding these carts. Uh, as long as you stay put and keep shooting, you shouldn't be in too much trouble. And that's about it. Let's take out Armored Armadillo. Also, I wanted to show off the uh, charging techniques for the Spark Shock. It creates a wall of electricity. And the Flamethrower creates a flame wave that goes along the ground. Very useful, I suppose. Uh, I don't find it useful, but whatever. Here's Armored Armadillo, and you need Electric Shock to beat this guy. I'm not saying it's mandatory, but shit does it help. By using Electric Shock, you destroy his spike shell, and that way you can damage him a lot better than if he didn't have his shell. Like, you only have so many open attacks when he does have the shell. And even then, with his weakness, I'm still getting my ass kicked. I don't know why. But uh, just keep shooting when he shoots. Like, jump over his shots, take a shot. And uh, when he rolls around, hopefully you know where he's going. I clearly did not, and it hurts like shit. The thing that sucks about the X-Series, you never start off with full health. You have to find all the heart tanks. So the Mavericks can really rape your shit if you're not prepared for them. Nevertheless, we get Rolling Shield and we can shoot a giant bubble at people. <laughs> and if we charge it up, we can create a shield for ourselves to protect us from attacks, which is always swell. See you in part four.